continue competition among the finest bowlers in the world. It's the Pro Bowlers Tour. This ABC Sports Exclusive is brought to you by Firestone, the radio tire people, makers of the Steel Radio 500. And by Monroe Shock Absorbers. If worn shocks make your car sway and roll, and it's like driving at sea, let Monroe put you back on solid ground. And by Ebonite Professional Quality Bowling Products, makers of the famous Gyro Balance Bowling Ball. For the thrill of winning, it's Ebonite. I left my heart in San Francisco. The San Francisco Bay Area deserves all the superlatives heaped on it. A magnificent scene, water leading from the Pacific, the Golden Gate and Bay Bridges, truly an area of charm. Today we've crossed the Bay Bridge, headed east some 15 miles to arrive in Alameda, specifically to Mel Bowl, where the world's finest bowlers have been competing for the top prize of $7,000. Thank you to the exciting final round of the $60,000 ARC Bonita Open. Another great tournament in the Pro Bowlers Association's 1975 Tour. And now, let's meet the five tournament leaders who will be competing for the top prize money of $7,000 in the number five position. Bowling uh, in the first match today, a 12-time PBA champion, Wayne Zahn of Tempe, Arizona. He is a tournament sports rank bowler, first time on television, 25-year-old Bill Spigner of Hamden, Connecticut. The winner of the first game will challenge the number three bowler, 28-year-old, eight-time PBA champion, Barry Asher. The winner of this match will challenge the number two man in the tournament. First time of the money, Fred Connor of Mar Vista, California. And the winner of that semifinal game will bowl for the championship against the tournament leader. He's 27 years old, looking for his first victory, Mickey Hyam of Kansas City, Missouri. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Shankle, and I'm speaking to you from the approaches here where the competition will begin in just a few moments. We're happy to be back for the 14th consecutive year, ABC Sports uh, spanning the United States, and this year, 16 different telecasts in as many weeks. So we're proud of our longevity of 14 consecutive years. Yes, bowling has its many traditions, and here in our telecast of the 12 of the 14 years, there is a big part of that tradition missing with the untimely and sudden death of our colleague and friend, Billy Waylu, last spring. How do you describe Billy? Well, there's no better way to describe Billy Waylu than to say that he was big league in a multitude of ways. The champion out on the lane, the big guy from Texas, commanded as much attention and adoration when he wasn't bowling because he was affable, sharp-witted, and classy. And that's the way he was, and that's the way friends and fans, everybody, will remember him forever. And I truly think uh, poet James Whitcomb Riley said it best, when one of his friends passed away, he said, uh, he is not dead, he is just a wife. So, away we go now with our first telecast. And during the next four weeks, we're going to have four great bowling champions. We have the greatest of them all with us the first week. Uh, out of St. Louis, Missouri, 24 PBA titles, a Hall of Famer, and our friend, Dick Weber. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks very much for remembering our dear friend, Billy Whaley, a great, great champion. We have uh, a couple of veterans going in the field today against uh, three men that uh, are just sort of getting started when it comes to television. Yes, yeah, a very interesting situation, Chris. The two boys that you're talking about, uh, the veterans, are uh, Barry Asher and Wayne Zahn. They're already qualified for the $100,000 Firestone Tournament of Champions, but we have three boys that aren't. And uh, it's really going to put the pressure on the old veterans, as I say. What are they faced on this pair today? Well, first of all, they have to watch their uh, speed, and second of all, they have to watch the amount of hook that they throw in the lanes. They can't throw too big of a hook, and yet they have to still put enough uh, stuff on the ball to carry the pins up. Okay, Richard, we look forward to your commentary. Thank you. All right. Once again, our tournament leader and the man to beat this afternoon is Mickey Hyam for $7,000 in this impressive trophy. Here in Alameda, California, we'll be back on the Pro Bowlers Tour. <laughs>
The Firestone Forever battery comes with a guarantee unlike most other battery guarantees. It's so simple. It's printed right here. If the Firestone Forever battery ever fails to hold a charge in your car, Firestone will replace it free with proof of purchase, providing that the battery hasn't been damaged due to accident or abuse, commercial use excluded. Now, that's a battery guarantee you can live with forever. Uh, <laughs> Is it uh, true that Midas usually takes only 30 minutes or less to install a muffler? Yeah. <laughs> and you have mufflers for over 1,700 different car models. Uh, yeah, that's why your prices are high. But they're not. They're not. At Midas, our prices make our customers happy and our competition a little sad. How do we compete with these guys? Shh. I need time to think. At Midas, we're specialists. We have to do a better job. Once again, here's how the final matches are set in today's competition. In the first match, our fifth-ranked bowler, Wayne Zahn, will meet the fourth-ranked bowler in the tournament thus far, Bill Spigner. Now, the winner of this match will meet Barry Asher, who is in third place. If successful, he will meet the second-place bowler, Fred Connor. And the winner of this match will go for the championship against our tournament leader, Mickey Hyam. Remember, each competitor keeps advancing as long as he keeps his winning streak alive. So before a capacity crowd here at Mel's Bowl in Alameda, California, here comes the first stroke. In the, the blue shirt, 12-time PBA champion, Wayne Zahn. Dick, how do they determine who bowls first? Well, the bowler that uh, finishes in the higher spot has the uh, right to uh, pick the lane. In other words, uh, in this case, uh, Spigner would have the right to choose the lane he wants to start on or have Zahn start on. So he chose to uh, have Zahn start the uh, match on lane 29, and he will start on lane 30. All right. Waiting for a reset on uh, lane 29 here at Mel's Bowl. Wayne Zahn, 33 years old. I doubt if that will uh, shake him up because he's seen that happen before in all the years of competition, Dick. He's pretty much of a seasoned veteran for uh, Chris. He, he won't let anything like this shake him up. He's reminiscing his fun basic fundamentals. faced with such a thing right off. Yeah. This is the uh, key shot today, uh, Chris. I think that most of the bowlers are going to try to really give the ball an extreme amount of drift, but uh, they want to, just like that ball, slid too far. It didn't have enough churn on the end, enough grind on the end, as we call it, to knock out the 5-7. Trying for the split. Oh, went all the way. But it gives him an open frame. Waves on. And his competition today in this first game is 25-year-old bachelor Bill Spigner, who lives in Hamden, Connecticut. Let's watch the 170-pounder. Well, we got a little reaction out of Bill Spigner. Uptight because uh, the lights, the pressure of trying to win the $7,000 first prize, and the fact that this is Bill's first television appearance. And like Fred Connor and Mickey Hyam, he'll be seeking his first PBA triumph. So can he double? For the first time on TV, Chris, he's uh, very cautious about his setting his uh, hand in the ball. You notice the wipe his thumb all out, was very careful about that, uh, which is unusual for a youngster. Uh, getting on TV the first time. And Bill Spigner has a double. And jumping off to a 22-10 lead. Now, pressure is on Wayne Zahn. And Dick, this is one thing about bowling. Uh, just from frame to frame, the pressure can change, can shift. Yes, if you, if you don't, if you really don't concentrate on your on your basics, you really lost the game. So Wayne's on, still looking for his first strike, meeting Bill Spigner. Here's the here's the hit, Chris. See the ball sliding so much, it really never grabs the lane, and uh, he was very lucky there to get out of the split, actually. So going for the four seven now. 
Never in doubt. Still marking with a spare. Wayne Zahn, who's trailing by 22 pins. Our statistician today, champion Ski Ferenski. Well, let's see if he makes the uh, one correction on this uh, particular lane, the way he left the 5-7 in the first frame, Chris. Uh, he must uh, move to the right a little bit and give a little more lift and slow the speed down. Just another fraction of mention he might have had it, Chris. He's just uh, still a little bit too, uh, too fast with the ball. He's still a little bit too far inside with the ball. I'd like to caution our viewers, uh, and when they have trouble on uh, particular lanes like this, just move the board two at a time to your right until you see that ball snap in a little bit, and that's what Wayne is really looking for at the particular time. The five pin. Now you're looking at Bill Stigner. He has a double up with a 23 pin lead. He tries to make it three in a row. Using about three quarters of the approach as he will be moving to the line in a moment. As usual, during our live ABC Sports telecast of the Professional Bowlers Tour, should a bowler string together 12 in a row or a perfect game, ABC will present him the $10,000 check that plus a Lincoln Mercury Cougar, and it was right here last year, Dick Weber. That uh, Jim Stefanich did that very thing. Isn't that sweet? Spigner leading by 33, trying to make it a four bagger on the left lane. Turn in a moment. Winning. There's nothing like it. And in bowling, the pros are using the ball with more win in it. The Ebonite Gyro. Winning his ball at the 1973 Firestone Tournament of Champions. Back-to-back -back wins in 1974 for Johnny Gunther. Three new world's records in the 74 ABC Classic. The Ebonite Gyro, a precision ball for the pros or you. Every gyro ball features the exclusive drilling guide to give you the right top weight and side weight for your kind of game. It's harder than any ball I've ever thrown before. Rolls fantastically true. A great ball. It's got a faster thumb release and totally new core and weight block. Look for the Ebonite gyros. Get the gyro ball your game deserves. Available wherever fine sporting goods are sold. See the totally new, professional quality, high fashion bowling shoes and color coordinated bags with exclusive Ebonite features. For the thrill of winning when you think bowling, it's Ebonite. Here in the Professional Bowlers Tour, a look at positions 6 through 12 in this year's ARC Alameda Open. There they are. And we're in our very first game. And we have Bill Spigner going against Wayne Zahn. We're looking at Wayne now. He has 27 through the second with a spare up in the third, trailing by 43. Oh, a 10-pin for Wayne Zahn. There's the adjustment he's been looking for, Chris. He's, he feels that he's found it on lane 30. Now, his key thing is finding it on lane 29 so he can really get zeroed in because he can't afford too many more uh, spares. He's got to start striking. Wayne got into the five-man final in the very last game last night. And the public attention for Wayne Zahn. Had, had Ron Lisher made a strike, Wayne would have not been on television today. And that was a close, close one, Chris. That was very interesting last night. Ron is the alternate or the sixth man and picked up a sizable check for his efforts as we have Wayne now over on the left lane. Fifth frame, first game. There it is. A quick screen replay of that last stroke, Dick Weber. All right, Chris. Now, look, he's made his adjustment. 
He's made an adjustment just like he wanted to. He's extended well. Got the ball to roll good, and look how the ball hits. Hard and solid. That's what he's looking for all the way through. Our first stop of the tour of 16 cities across the United States. Today's show, which is on an hour earlier than usual, next week and weeks to follow, will be on at 3.30 Eastern Time. Now going for five in a row. He really has the composure on that approach. He really takes his time, which I, I remember the first time that I was on TV. I was so nervous. I was wor more worried about what I was going to do on TV than my bowling. And this boy has taken a matter of seconds to study and, and reminisce his basic fundamentals, going to the foul line, his arm swing, making sure that he keeps the ball slow, extending well to his spot. The whole bit. He's really great. All right. Bill Spigner. 5'11", 170 pounds. He finished 31st right here last year in Mel's Bowl, winning $680. He's going to win more than that today. His best finish ever was ninth in Las Vegas in 1974. An event won by Jim Stefanich, who bowled that perfect game a year ago here. Seventy-five professional bowlers tour. Six of them leading by 64 pins, and there isn't a lot you can do when your opponent's stringing them like that. But here's on with a strike up. He has a double. It was right here at this site that last year's television finals, the highest scoring event in PBA history. There was a 247 average per man. Dick Weber, that's incredible. My goodness, six life. That's my high game of the last year. You oh, know come that? on. <laughs> You'll be bowling in the Greater Los Angeles Open next yes. week in Arcadia. Looking forward to it. George Snow and the bunch down at the lane. Now Wayne's on, as you see. He has strikes in the fifth and sixth frames. the seventh pin on the left lane. That was a very costly pin to him, uh, Chris. Uh, he wanted that hit very badly. He wanted to put a little more pressure on uh, Bill Spigner, but uh, of course, like you say, it's, it's hard to beat the matter of number of six strikes in a row. Going somewhat cross lane to try and cover the seventh pin. And makes it. All right. Again, repeating, this is the very first game. And Bill Spigner has a 55-pin lead, and he has strung six. We'll be back to see number seven in a moment. One reason why we Lincoln Mercury dealers sold more new cars from September through November than Dodge, VW, Pontiac, and Buick is because we can offer solid value in eight different car lines, from a subcompact Capri to America's best-equipped luxury car, Continental Mark IV. And those other dealers can't. Trade-in values may never be higher than right now, so the cost of trade may never be lower. See your Lincoln Mercury dealer for his deal tomorrow. <laughs> Now comes Miller time. He blew out that 100-foot candle and saved thousands of barrels of crude. But now it's time for the best-tasting beer you can find. Miller High Life, America's quality beer since 1855. If you've got the time, if you've got the time, you've got the beer. From a different angle, some of the crowd, capacity crowd, at Ells Bowl in Alameda, California. The ARC... Alameda open, and here's the young man in this very first game that has strung six in a row, perfect up to now. Five to go. Five more, Chris. Seven shots, seven strikes. The 
25-year-old Bill Spigner. Let's get a profile replay, Dick Weber. All right, here we go. He's going under his approach. He's got everything timed perfectly. He couldn't ask for anything any better. He's got the ball right with his left foot, falling through a good with a good extension, hitting his mark, and he's got a nice speed on the ball. Seven in a row. In what frame from now on, Dick, does the ball get a little heavier? Chris, it's already heavy right now. He's thinking. He's no different than anybody else. We all start getting a little bit nervous after we get seven or eight in a row. And the butterflies do fly. Bowling not only to win this game, but a possible $10,000 check from ABC. It's going to be a helpless feeling, Dick Weber, when somebody's stringing them. Yeah, you know the game's over with. You want to get out of his way so he can go ahead and get his 300 game. That's, that's what Razan is really doing. Real quick. <laughs> Now, here's really a point where you really go through your basic fundamental again. And I hate to stre keep stressing basic fundamentals, but you do it in every sport. You've got to make sure that you're set. You've got to make sure that the ball feels comfortable in your hand. You must take your time going that foul line. You want to roll the ball, get good lift on the ball, extend to your spot, hit your spot. Just a number of things, and all these things are going through your mind. A lot of pressure. On the right lane, ninth frame. kicker where you kick the four at times. You've got to have that lucky little break and yet it's still in the pocket. Like rimming a putt. <laughs> and still having it go in, of course. This is a try for number ten. with his left foot and he's a little bit late so he has to round the ball circle the ball as we call it and leaving the 2-5 pin all right now going for the 2-5 assured of going into the next game against Barry Asher it's Bill Spigner boy it gave us all a thrill here in the very first game first week of a 16-week series of the professional bowlers tour we'll be back in a moment Bowled a 275 to Wayne Zahn's 201. So, with a 74-pin victory in the very first game, first week, it'll be Bill Spigner now going against veteran 28-year-old Barry Asher. The winner of that's a 